Okay, I have the Realme 3 Pro on the left hand side, the Redmi Note 7 Pro on the right hand side, and this is a test between the Snapdragon 675, which has actually now just quickly taken the lead over the Realme with the Snapdragon 710. So the first person out of the gate there was the Redmi, but now the Realme has taken back the lead. It was the first into the 2048 test. Now both devices are into the 2048 test. Are we gonna see as we have previously with competitions between Snapdragon 710 uh, devices and Snapdragon 675 devices, this kind of one in the lead, then the other in the lead, then one in the lead, the other in the lead. Now at the moment, the Realme 3 Pro is in the lead. It's gone the first into the SQL light test, but it's not doing too well. There was a Redmi Note 7 is doing much, much better. It's going fast now. Is it going to get there first? Yes, it is. Look at that. It's finished the test already. So it's into the 3D cube test while the Realme is still finishing the SQL light test. So first of all, it was the Redmi. Then it was the Realme. Then it's the Redmi again. Is it going to be like this all the way through to the finish? Now, of course, we're dealing with two very different uh, SOCs here. The Snapdragon 710 has got two Cortex A75 cores clocked at 2.2 gigahertz along with six Cortex A55 cores and the Adreno 616 GPU. Whereas the 675 has got two Cortex A76 cores. That's a newer generation. So that means a performance uplift, but it's all clocked at a lower clock speed of just 2 gigahertz. And then it's got the Adreno 612, which is the weaker GPU. Now, if we look at this, the Redmi has already gone now into the Unity test and it's doing quite nicely. Then it's built up quite a lead over the Realme 3 Pro. But the Realme has got the better GPU, the Adreno 616. So is it going to be able to, and a bit of a stall there, we've seen this before on the Redmi 3 Pro and another stall there and another one. Oh, this is not looking good again for the Realme 3 Pro. It could do so much better if we didn't have those stalls there as we're playing the game, but there's still time. There's still a bit of time for the Adreno 616 to really find its rhythm, to really get into the thing and just get itself going and pull back some lead over the Adreno 612, which we find in the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, as we're both going along through this test, let's see what's gonna happen now. It looks as if things are a bit smoother now on the Realme 3 Pro. It kind of got into the groove. It's really going on. In fact, they're coming out to be neck and neck now. Yes, they are, they're neck and neck going into this part. Who will see the sun first? Where is it going to appear? Left or right? On the left. There we go. The sun first on the Realme 3 Pro. So now we come down to the castle scene where both GPUs are really struggling to do all of that detail, get all of that stuff working. Which one's going to win? Which is going to get to the end of the test first? Who's going to go first in the compression test? And it looks like it's the Realme 3 Pro. So it's now into the compression test and it's going through them seven. What's happening now? And now the other test uh, is starting on the Redmi and then nine and then 10. Surely there we go. Two minutes and 49.6 seconds. And I also gave you the breakdown there. And then finally the Redmi has finished with two minutes and 53.6 seconds. Now let's just take a moment to look at the difference here on these times. If you look at the CPU time on the Snapdragon 710, it was 51.6 seconds compared to 39.3 seconds on the Snapdragon 675. So the difference in the Cortex A75 and the Cortex A76, that's a difference of 12 seconds. But then when you look at the GPU time, we find that the GPU on the Snapdragon 710 finished that Unity test in one minute and 10 seconds. Whereas on the Redmi Note 7 Pro with the Snapdragon 675 and the weaker GPU is one minute and 24 seconds. So a difference of 14 seconds there on the GPU. So the CPU is 12 seconds faster on the Snapdragon 675, but the GPU is 14 seconds slower. And then you add in a few seconds there on that mixed CPU GPU time. And that gives us the four second difference between the two devices. Okay, my name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.